Hi guys, I thought I'd try something different today. I thought I'd go with a video blog, uh, or a vlog as it's known, just to try and freshen things up, keep it different, you know, give you a different angle to look at. Um, firstly, I want to say thank you very much to all of you that are, are reading what I've got to say and watching videos and listening to to my views on, on fitness through pregnancy. Um, it's a real motivation for me to keep going, is, is to know that people are reading it, and, and hopefully the information is, is useful uh, either now or in the future if if you're not going through it at this point um, but that's what I wanted to talk about today was was motivation and you know sometimes you have days where you don't fancy it or you just don't feel up to to exercising and and those days you know it's common it's it's nothing to feel guilty about if you if you have a day off or two days off it's fine but just try not to let those one or two days turn into a week or a month because the longer you go without doing something, the harder it is to get back into it and, and the tougher it will be on your body because obviously, you know, it's changing all the time and, and day by day it feels like you're going to get bigger and bigger so things become more difficult. If you haven't been training for two weeks or more or <clears throat> any length of time, your body will be so different to the last time that you, you trained and, and you may not be able to do as much or you know, to the intensity that you have been. So try and keep up with what you're doing. If you haven't got a program written for you, maybe try and write it down. I always find that if I've, if I've got something written down that I want to do, it it's a motivation for me and psychologically it makes me want to do it. It's almost as if I've got to answer to someone, whether that person is real or not, you know, whether it's just yourself and, and your ego. Um, I've always found writing something down is, is a real good way of, of motivating yourself to do it. So that's one tip. Um, also, focus on your end goal. Obviously, for me personally, it's it's trying to get back to international standard football as soon as I can once I've had the baby. Um, I think last time when I had Emily, although I, I was proud of you know the time scale in which I came back, I don't feel like I did enough during my pregnancy and, and certainly not straight after to, to try and speed up the process. Of course, you've got to be sensible and you have to listen to your body but I definitely feel like I could have done more and because it was my first pregnancy I, I wasn't aware of what I could do and and that's the reason for me writing this blog and, and doing this site is because there's so little information out there for for athletes who who fall pregnant so you know it, it's it's the end goal that, that keeps me going and, and knowing that I, I've got a, a, a challenge to beat the time that I took last time in coming back after having Emily, so that that's a really good motivational tool for me. Um, lastly, I think it's having important and special people around you to help keep you going, and and knowing that they support you in what you do. And I'm very fortunate that I've got a husband and a and a family who are fantastic, and all they want for me is to get back to playing football because they know that's what I love and that's what I want to be spending my time doing. So. Fortunately for me, they they allow me the time and the space to to do what I need to do. But they were always there when I'm when I'm having days when I'm not feeling so up for it, and and they're there to give me a, a kick up the backside if you like to to get me out and on the straight and narrow. So yeah, if my basically my message is if if you have down days, don't feel bad. Um, just try and get back on track as soon as possible, and and try and keep doing the right things. It's it can be frustrating that you can't do all the training that you're used to, to the intensity that, you know, you're not lifting as heavy a weights perhaps, or you're not running as fast as you were, but, but know that each thing you're doing is better than doing nothing. Uh, for me, I'm, I, I feel like cardio is one of the things I'm, I'm lacking on and, you know, I could do more perhaps, uh, but at the same time, I know that the level I have to get back to, I'm not going to be able to reach those levels. So I'm concentrating on the more, um, strength-based training if you like so you know whether it's body weight core exercises or it's or it's lifting and, and squatting and things like that so have a focus have a have a point to your to your training sessions and and try and keep them fresh don't make them boring don't do the same thing over and over again um because it's not gonna you're not gonna have the same impact if you keep doing the same thing it, your body's gonna get used to it and and the effects aren't gonna be as good or as lasting so keep it fresh ask advice from anyone, you know, whether it's looking on this site, whether it's researching it on the internet, asking personal trainers, medical experts, anybody anybody that you can speak to with the experience or knowledge can can really help and they can really keep your, your training sessions 
good and you know you, you want to be excited to go and do them you don't want to be getting bored halfway through because it's going to be difficult to keep them up if you're not enjoying them so yeah keep it fresh keep motivated stay happy and think on that end goal speak to you soon bye